right guys today in this video i'm gonna show you how you guys can enable wireless driver on your virtual machine and especially this is for tp-link tlwm 722n so if you have this adapter then you should watch this video all right so first thing is that open up your virtual machine so first thing i want to show you that it's not working at all for me so i'm just going to power on this and show you right now well you can see that we have connected the wireless over here this is wireless that i've connected so if i check on my vm you can pretty much see that it's not detecting any kind of tp link adapters so to do that you need to tweak out some settings all right all right guys so first thing is that you guys need to access services just like this and from here you need to find vm usb arbitration service all right so if you have not enable this or it's like not started click and start and also make sure this is like automatic and apply and press on ok if this thing is not on then your vmware is not able to detect your usb adapter so still if you now see that it's not even detecting right now because we need to tweak out once more so we need to restart this uh, vmware power off and also let's tweak some setting over here let me open up all right click on edit virtual machine and from here go to um your usb controller and also make sure to click on so all usb input devices and check uh usb 2 or 3 depends upon your uh, generation of usb uh, adapter that you guys are using so mine is 2.0 now i'm going to click on ok once everything is done now click on power on this machine once again and this time let's check it out as you guys can see that as i've told you guys it should work if you have checked uh services i mean this one if you have enabled this it should be working for you and also make sure to uh, check those boxes that i just show you so but before we connect uh, our usb adapter i mean wireless adapter we need to also download driver so this is special made for tp link so if you guys have like um, alpha card any kind of um, other wireless esp card you guys don't need to download driver stuff you already have wireless connection once you guys have connected from here all right so to connect you need to just click and connect and it should be working for you completely fine but for tp link you guys need to install drivers because this because this wireless card it requires driver but before we do anything we need to download driver i'm opening up the edge browser so go to google wn 20 uh, sorry wn this this driver all right so just click on first result and make sure to choose your correct version all right so i have version one so if you guys don't know how to choose version uh you can simply you know let me show you the v1 here v1.10 it's it means like it's version one and you guys need to install version one driver if you have like v2 then it's v a uh, version two or v3 it's version three and to download driver click on download uh, driver here and then simply click on download it's just 12 megabyte so you guys already seen that i have already downloaded here so I'm just going to copy uh, this file on my pen drive because it's going to be much more easier than accessing from share file. So let's unplug my USB adapter right now. So right now I'm just plugging in and copying this file on my USB. So there we go. We have test this on my USB as you guys can see that. And now we can close the browser. Even your virtual machine will now detect um, this. So click on VM click on removable device and this is my uh, usb stick so i'm just going to connect this and disconnect from my host there we go all right we have now connected our usb on vmware now open up your file explorer on vmware go to this pc and then all you guys need to do is drag and drop or you know just need to install this but before you do this you also need to connect your wireless adapter now you can just extract this if you don't have like a pen drive or you have like a LAN access, you can connect LAN and download the same driver on your VMware. So in case if you don't have internet connection, then you can do this. All right, so I'm just extracting this. As you guys can see that this is how your driver file look like. All right, so now it's time to unplug our USB and plug in your wireless adapter and then click on vm and then click on removable device 
and this time you guys need to disconnect welcome atrus ethernet all right so disconnecting from my host and sorry disconnecting from my primary machine and connecting this on my windows 11. now all you need to do is install this or click on setup and click on yes and click on next and it's searching for card and we it's detected now it's installing simply all right guys so now we have finished uh installing this driver here the wireless is available for you all right so guys this is how you guys can install tp-link adapter on your vmware it's that simple with this few steps sorry it's not a few steps but it's long process i know that but it's worth it because it's working perfectly for you so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you like this and if you guys enjoyed and if you learned some new today then be sure to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in next video peace